Hey guys, I hope you're keeping well. Today I'm going to be creating a quick tutorial video on enhanced conversion setup within Google Ads. Enhanced conversion is basically a feature that Google uses to collect first party data from your website in the form of uh, name, email address, phone number, address, uh, and other details. Uh, it basically helps the system to uh, optimize things around important metrics like conversions uh, and engagement metrics and boost the performance of your campaigns, uh, you know, whatever campaigns you're running, be it standard search campaigns, performance max, uh, YouTube, or any campaign that your um, goals are mapped to within Google Ads, uh, it's going to be helpful. So. Without further ado, I'm going to jump right into the process as to how we can go about this. So you have to go to goals on the new interface, you know, click on goals and click on settings. And then go to enhanced conversion for uh, conversions for leads. If you are doing it the first time, you know, it's going to ask you as soon as you click, um, the turn on enhanced conversions option, um, it will be asking you to agree to certain terms and conditions uh, that uh, Google has provided for collecting data uh, for enhanced conversions. So you have to just accept that. And then, you know, down here, you, you will be having two options. You have the Google Take option and you, you will have Google Tech Manager option depending on how you have implemented the tracking on your website. If you're using direct Google Take uh, snippet uh, on your website, uh, you will have to go for the uh, Google Take approach. Um, otherwise, you know you can go for the Google Take Manager approach. Um, to check that, you know you can just put in the URL of the website. Um, so in this case, this one, and check the URL. It's going to scan your website and let you know as to which approach you are using to implement tracking. So in here it says uh, we detected two tags installed on your website. So yep, we are using two tags. One is for Google Tag Manager, and we also have Google. Uh, one is for uh, Google Ads, so this one is Google Tag, and the other one is Google Tag Manager. This is for you know, some other tracking purposes. Um, but essentially for Google Ads, we're using this one. So, you know, it's a recommended one as well. So you can click this and continue with uh, the selection. And once you're done uh, with this process, um, you can click on, you know, your tag is configured to include user provided data from your website, right? So if you're using Google Tag, um, some basic level enhanced conversion is already going to be implemented without you having to do much, right? So you just have to turn this on and, you know, if you go to tag details um, and go to allow user provided data capabilities, click on it. You'll be seeing here that this option allow user provided data cap capabilities already selected, right? So you have this selected and you have the automatically detect user provided data option is also selected. Now, the one that's not selected um, is going to be this one, right? Um, so this is for most advertisers who are not uh, very um, analytics savvy or they're not uh, very uh, proficient when it comes to executing um, custom coding on the website or, you know, doing those technical things can leave this and depend on this thing, you know, uh, this is, uh, this works uh, pretty good. Um, you know, if your website is, if your website's code structure is such that uh, it makes sense for Google to be able to extract, you know, those um, information pieces in the form of email address, phone number, uh, etc. cetera, uh, it does it automatically, but uh, for more accurate uh, enhanced conversion data, you can go for the CSS selector or JavaScript variable option, and you can fill these options one by one, right? 
uh, and the way to do this, uh, this is so your website will have you know contact forms um, if it's an e-commerce website in the checkout section you will have um, you know these options where the user is providing contact information then um, the address right delivery address our shipment address and uh, some of the details in the form of phone number email address uh, names etc et so you're going to be pulling that information from this form but otherwise you know if you have a normal let's say website where um, the user you're giving the user with a form uh, to fill in um, and that form contains, uh, let's say, the name, phone number, email address, uh, et cetera. Um, you can, you know, extract that information from that website as well. So depending on, you know, what type of website you're running, um, the next, in the next step, what you have to do is, you know, go to the form and click on, let's say, that field. So if we go to um, Google and uh, take a look at the first um, field, um, for CSS selectors, it, it says email. So you're going to have to go to the email section of the form and right click it, go to inspect elements. If you're on um, Chrome browser, if you're on other browser, you will have the same option, pretty much the same option. And once you do that, you know, this part of the code is auto selected here, right? Um, so you can, you know, let me close this open again. Right here, it's selected. So you just have to copy this thing. Uh, go click Edit as HTML. Select all, or Control A, or you can double click your mouse. Right, and then you know um, you can if you are um, if if you uh, if you can analyze this code, you can manually extract the information as well. So for example, we have for selectors, we have name selector here. We have the ID selector here, and we will have um, probably the class selector as well, right? But for some people, you know, uh, particularly when you have so many uh, forms and uh, uh, form fields, you know, so many different options, it's going to be uh, laborious for you to do that manually. So you can just copy this, and I will share with you the link of this um, custom GPT I have created, you know, for this purpose especially. So you can just copy that part of the code and paste it in here, right? And hit uh, run. You will have um, the selector here now, right? So you can copy this entire thing, go back to your Google Ads um, CSS selector area, and uh, you, know, you can paste that code in here. Right, so it says specify a comma separate. The reason why we want to have more than one um, selectors because we want to make sure if uh, you know for some reason um, Google is misperceiving this, you know we'll have this option, we'll have that. Right, so if all of these um, selectors are getting triggered when a user uh, activates those. That means it's confirmed that, you know, the user has provided the email address and uh, Google is able to collect that, hash that, and send that uh, through uh, for it to use um, in the optimization uh, part of the process. So you can just copy that and paste in here. Similarly, you know, for the fields, so we have a second one here, phone number. Go to your form and find where the phone number field is. Click on it. Go to inspect elements. Again, you know, this entire page of code is selected. Uh, so you have to now copy that to copy it. The easier way is to click on edit as HTML. Uh, copy that, go to the chat GPT. Um, GPT I have uh, created. Click, just click the code. I just paste the code, and that's it. You don't have to give it any instructions. You know, I have done the instructions in the back end myself, so it's working pretty fine. So you just have to copy that, go here, click um, this field, and paste it. You can do this one by one for each field that's important to you. Uh, so the name field, you know, you have first name, uh, and then you have the last name, and you have street address, city, etc. So all of this information, uh, first name, separately for last name, then you have the, you can leave this part. For the street address, this, and then you have city, your zip codes, your phone number, etc. So once you're done doing that one by one, um, you know, you can just save this at the end. 
Uh, okay, let me do this once again. I think I left a few fields unchecked. No, they're all checked. So now you can, you know, just save it and uh, you are pretty good to go. Uh, it's going to take some time for the data to uh, really come into effect and uh, start improving, uh, you know, the performance metrics. Uh, as per Google, you know, we have to give it 30 days uh, for us to be able to see a uh, good improvement as far as um, conversion metrics are, you know, campaign performance uh, is concerned. I hope this was helpful. Um, uh, if you have uh, other topics uh, you want me to cover, even around this, you know, uh, enhanced conversion, we have other options as well. So this one is through CSS selector. We have another option that uh, can take us through the website uh, route, right? So where we will be implementing it through um, custom code um, on the website itself. That's a separate process. So we'll have to first, you know, uh, create the code and um, uh, kind of customize it as per our, our website. Um, so including all those uh, data layers and um, variables uh, to kind of make it dynamic and then implement it. That's another option. Uh, yet another option is, you know, implementing it through Google Tag Manager. But this is the easier one and, uh, you know, I would say more reliable one uh, for most advertisers. So I just covered this. But if, you, you know, you'd like for me to cover those other options as well, I will hopefully create one on those as well in the future. Uh, in general, you know, if you're not subscribed to the channel, I would definitely ask you, encourage you to do, to subscribe to the channel so that, you know, you, you, you uh, see more useful tutorials around Google Ads, uh, conversions, conversion setup, uh, optimization, and uh, of course, uh, other areas as well. Thank you very much for your time. And I will see you hopefully in the next one. Have a wonderful day. Bye.